Uh, we, we got Gary Coleman in divorce court or a light bulb that has burned for 107 years. I got to hit a light bulb one. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Filament. It must have very good filament. <laughs> who's that? Filament. Who's that? It's me. I'm who's who? Who's that? <laughs> who is that? Who is that? Ted the light bulb expert. <laughs> who? Filament is very effective. <laughs> You, you're an expert on what? Light bulbs. <laughs> really? Yes, companies hire me to save them energy. Like, what if I wanted to save energy in my apartment? Energy would sound I change, like wizardry. Would I change the light bulbs or would I change them to? Stop trying to lead me, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he can do it himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jimmy had a rant on trees yesterday. It was, it was legendary. <laughs> the oh stupid God, tree though. bit yesterday <laughs> made me laugh all day. I'm hoping for a light bulb rant today. You never there know. There won't be one. I was just commenting on the Philip. <laughs> light bulb uh, burns continuously for 107 years. We That's gotta, a lot longer than normal. We got to thank Breach. Normally they tap out at 103 years. <laughs> <laughs> that extra four years, he got his money's worth. <laughs> Is this Frank the Frowner? No, no just no, no. the light bulb expert. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Frank the yes, Frowner. Yes, they all sound alike. Don't you understand that? There's two voices, eight people. <laughs> uh, Breitbart. Thanks to Breitbart for, for putting this on their... Uh, Breitbart! On their uh, main page. Here we go. Uh, the Centennial light bulb here at the Livermore Pleasant Fire Department is a hand-blown light bulb built by the Shelby Light Company with a carbon filament inside. And I told you it was a good <laughs> filament, but nobody wants to listen to me. The Shelby Light Company was legendary for their filaments. <laughs> Shelby was legendary. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. It sounds like there might have been some wizardry to this light bulb. There was no wizardry. It was just good filament stuff. I think you know a little bit about wizardry, I don't do. you? Sounds like Frank, you could. Frank the Frowner. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> filament inside, and it puts out four watts worth of light. We currently use it to like illuminate the apparatus <laughs> and the firefighter's view. A little dim bulb. A little soft orange glow coming out of it. <laughs> It's 104 years old. <laughs> 107! I didn't even think of that either. 107. Uh, the tiny little filaments. Uh, nothing beats Jimmy's Ben Franklin cruising rant. Uh, Damien wants to acknowledge that rant. Yeah, that was a good to one. To illuminate the apparatus bay, and the firefighters use it at night as the night light when they're coming out to get into their rigs. Notice that not only is the light bulb the original part of the installation, but everything from the ceiling to the light bulbs, so the wire, the socket, and the base, including the switch, is all the original. So it's a fire hazard. You know how great <laughs> that's that's right. pretty much what he's saying. Do you know how great that would look with a basketball bouncing off of <laughs> 107 years down the fucking shitter? Smash! Now get me a new one. Dude, where's the light bulb? Send a pest. Yes, we, yeah, you have to we got a prize pest. closet. Break that fucking oh. asshole light bulb. Break the light bulb. Oh my Next god. Next day there's just a GE 100 water screwed into there. Exactly. <laughs> History's gone. Yeah, where happened to the light bulb? Oh, this one's brighter. Fucking Shut broke. Up. <laughs> One of the things to note is, is the filament of the bulb is much larger than the common filaments we have right now. As I've said! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was he saying about the filament? Because you could probably just finish what he was saying. The filament is much larger, therefore more effective. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Is that right, Frank the Frowner? Huh? <laughs> I'm Ted the light bulb expert. <laughs> light bulb expert. Have right now. And so it's much more shock sensitive and it doesn't put out as much light, but it certainly puts out enough illumination and has kept going That's for over exactly. years. What does that mean, shock sensitive? Because you don't want to get shocked, you'll become sensitive to it. <laughs> Idiot. It means if you tap it, it won't break like your normal light bulb. Exactly. It's I a said. Big, fat, thick. Black filament. Yeah. <laughs> Big thick filament. You don't want to put that anywhere near the blonde filament, or it'll never come back. The blonde filament will be ruined. <laughs> She'll start smoking Newports. <laughs> now, She'll put on 100 pounds. Uh, now, uh, boardroom Jimmy, uh, <laughs> this can't be good for the economy, right? To have a light bulb that burns for 100 and. I don't know enough years. about numbers, so I deal in filaments. <laughs> My company puts out seven <laughs> filaments a year.
Seven a year. That's right. Well, I guess if they last forever. (laughs) We make them from the spines of stillborns. (laughs) I love how he has to. Be in character, even though it's radio. He's you, you can't even see his eyes. Just who I am. <laughs> just fucking a mess. In eight years. People always ask us, "Has it ever been hit, or do you dust it, or how do you take care what of it?" What is your answer to that, and sir? A matter of. <laughs> has it ever been hit by what? It's fucking still intact, isn't it? Yes, it was hit by it was hit by a child's party balloon in 1937, <laughs> and a dust bunny crashed. <laughs> <laughs> it was hit by a breeze it would explode you cunt who <laughs> asks you these questions <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> and the matter People of fact ask, is, is that has anybody ever kicked like it like a judo expert have a fire truck ever run it over <laughs> has it ever exploded and been taped back together <laughs> Or clean it. And the matter of fact is, is that on occasion, the light bulb has been hit with basketballs and Nerf balls and a oh. few things, and it has sustained itself quite well. Well. Wow. They've asked us, so what are you going to do when the light bulb burns out? And we affectionately tell them that we don't plan to do anything because we know this light bulb is probably going to outlive most of us here today. Who asked Eight these fucking ago, the boring light bulb questions? Celebrated. What are you going to do when the light bulb burns out? Will it just be dark forever in here, or will you replace it? <laughs> what are you going to read by? <laughs> Eight years ago, the light bulb celebrated its 100th birthday, and we threw a barbecue here, and that was attended by approximately 500 people, complete wow. with cake and the barbecue. This light bulb has Speaking its own website, and you can visit that website, <gasps> centennialightbulb.com, uh, and watch fan, the light bulb on its please. own light cam, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the light bulb by itself is, if you will, its own personality. It's definitely its own character, Whoa. and a part of Livermore that is truly, truly historical. www.breakthisalready.com <laughs> <laughs> That's the light bulb? Wow. Oh, it looks like an old man. Oh. <laughs> no, that old man is pointing at the light bulb. What's silly. the LFD? Uh, that's the town. Something the- fucking dummy. <laughs> light fucking dummy. <laughs> Put that picture back, Nathaniel, or I'll knock that hat off your fucking head. Is he from the Livermore Fire Department, I yes. believe, uh, Ted? Oh. Ted, right? Ted the, Ted the light bulb expert. The light bulb expert. He looks like the gorgeous fisherman. He does. <laughs> <laughs> and all he's doing is using the light to show you the finger he fucked his wife with last <laughs> yes. night. Yes. He's showing you his stinky finger. <laughs> he's like, that's how far I got it in before she passed out. <laughs> I'm a fat-fingered fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, yeah that, uh, Oh, he's a thick fingered man. He certainly is. What kind of filament is that? That's a very thick filament. It's the type they used to make out of carbon. Now they switch them. They make them out of they make them out of kerosene. They're not as effective. <laughs> kerosene. Wow. You turn it on and they explode. It's like, it's like the, the light bulb that killed Oh, he's a thick fingered man. He certainly is. What kind of filament is that? That's a very thick filament. It's the type they used to make out of carbon. Now they switch them. They make them out of they make them out of kerosene. They're not as effective. <laughs> kerosene. Wow. You turn it on and they explode. It's like it's like the, the light bulb that killed caretaker. I wish that was the one in your house. <laughs> the light bulb looks like an old man's sack. Yeah, it's just kind of hanging there and yeah. it smells bad. Yeah. That's all I could come up with. <laughs> it really does. It looks like a, a ball bag. Odd looking light bulb. But the socket and everything is supposed to be the same. It's the age. original, they said. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, shit, Ted, man. It looks newer, though. It's not reason. newer. Okay. I'm, I mean, they, I apologize. Do they, how do you turn it on? You just twist it? You look at it and it knows what to do. <laughs> Stupid, <laughs> there's a switch. <laughs> so that's my question. How do you turn it on? Rub your cock in front of it. It'll get excited. <laughs> I'm just, I'm Talk just, dirty to it. I'm just asking. What, what's your name again? You know my name. <laughs> what is Ted it? the light bulb expert. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the worst character ever. Yeah, well, it's factual, at least. I know all about films. I certainly think I see him as a one-off. <laughs> oh, you're going to be surprised. <laughs> a lot of light bulb news. Oh, more than you can imagine. As a matter of fact, every story has a light bulb in it somehow, because there's always light involved. <laughs> Good point.
you can tell us what type of uh, lighting was used. If maybe yeah, of course I will. Yeah. yeah. Fluorescent. What Fluorescent you... for queers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Throwing the film in business. Uh, <laughs> will, will you take questions from our listeners, uh, Ted? If there are serious questions, I don't play games with light bulbs. All right, Brad in uh, Jersey. Good right. evening, Brad. Thank you for calling the program. No, it's on. Ted's it's light a bulb hour. It's uh, <laughs> hour. Jesus. He wants to know how many Jews does it take to screw in a light bulb. I don't do jokes like that. Six million. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought we'd have a light bulb expert. Of course you haven't. We got an instant feedback from Stephen S. from Bayshore. Oh. Hey, what am I? Ooh. Oh, how could that be? He's sitting hey. right here. But it says Stephen S. from Bayshore. Someone's oh, lying. What? Someone's Ooh. Fidbin. What? Uh, line of the day is brought to you by mm. uh, Ted, the light bulb expert. Yes, it certainly is. Buy one of his seven filaments he makes a year. <laughs> That's there. right. Oh, they last Hand a long made. <laughs> time. They're from uh, stillborn these? spines. If you make it only... If you're, yeah, oh, that's that. right. He did say that, but he only makes seven a year. Why not make more? Because uh, I get tired of shoveling. <laughs> shoveling? That's why everybody walks away crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. You know, I've got so many splinters playing those little lids off. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Tiny little lid. <laughs> breaking news, oh, it looks breaking like it'd be news. nice to put a shaving cream cannon. <laughs> oh, my God. Instead of the dreams you had. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, Josh from Jersey writes, I'm watching Maury's top ten sexiest moments, and for some ungodly reason, Stalker Patty was one of them. Oh. Well, she was on her show. That's when a friend of hers got her makeover to try and get her laid. Yeah. Should I put the little feller in the shoebox? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Line of the day brought to you by CartScan. Get all your contacts organized in just a few seconds. Check out the device Ooh. that nobody should be without. That's right, a light bulb! Everyone <laughs> needs one! No, no, no CardScan. No. Oh. Dot com slash radio one. I'm going to use that to uh, scan Ted's card. He gave me one. That's right! Because uh, oh. I'm in need of a uh, light bulb at my house. I'm having a lot of work done, and i got a chandelier going in. And it's got a lot of light bulbs You'll in bet it. it does. But it's gonna... I hear the word chandelier, and I get tingly in the genitals. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you only make seven uh, filaments yeah. a year, though, that's going to be a problem for a chandelier. No, it's not. I've just been very slow on orders. <laughs> Nobody's ordering, because I charge $500 per bulb. They're handmade. <laughs> I paint the little insignia on it. <laughs> Ted's a douche. Ted's not a douche. Ted's a, a self-made man. <laughs> Ted's light bulb factory has been going strong for 14 months. <laughs> Do you have a website? What? Do you have a www.tezlightbulbfactory.com? This is for this for W's. You certainly are. World Wide Web. Trevor from Akron, Ohio. Uh, what's, what's Ted's opinion of uh, halogen light bulbs? Huh? Halogen. I don't like halogen. Why? I don't know. <laughs> it's halogen. Halogen is the ones you put in your headlamps. Yes, yes. Yes, of course I know that. Very bright. Yes, I prefer to put a regular 60-watt bulb in the front of my headlamps. <laughs> your headlights? I certainly do. <laughs> that probably wouldn't throw off much light. Keep but... some mosquitoes away from the car, because they're always shitting on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when moles and mosquitoes, mosquitoes, or mosquitoes, <laughs> <laughs> mosquitoes, I hate when they shit on my hood. <laughs> Uh, what about LEDs? Those are uh, oh, a lot yeah. of people using those. Now. I don't like those at Light all. Light emitting diodes. Oh, those are no good. They find those in paint ships. It's bad for children. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about fluorescent lights? Do you like those? I answered that question already. <laughs> redundant. <laughs> I said I don't like them. They're for queers. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it again. Plus, you can hide a regular light bulb in your hiney. If you're going to do that with a fluorescent, you have to get a good buddy and go cheek to cheek and then sashay sideways. <laughs> My on that hiney. Of my sashay. Yeah. Here's another runner-up line of the day. 
Uh, today is gonna it's gonna be called for some taped on sunglasses. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah. And yeah. half of my thigh placed on my cheek. <laughs> oh my God! What? <laughs> oh. 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 I got too far. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Put a wig on an iguana. <laughs> <laughs> Looks just Jesus. like him. Looks just like him. <laughs> oh, those horrendous wigs. <laughs> Little tuft wig. <laughs> Whenever you see the wig on a burn victim, you want to go, oh, look at the wig. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking just adjust it really roughly. <laughs> well, I'll be very ginger with that if you don't mind. My head is tender. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the same character. Apparently, there's an accident in the filming factory. <laughs> and I was burned from head to toe. <laughs> don't move the wig around too roughly. My head is very tender. <laughs> oh, it's like hamburger patty. <laughs> Be Robert Kelly, the, the big gig, where is that again? Uh, June 6th, Patrice O'Neill, mm. Mike uh, DiStefano. And no Rich Voss for some No reason. Rich Voss is no. not on the gig, but it's um, <laughs> Red Bank, New Jersey, Count Basie Theater. Tickets are on sale now, so make sure you call 732-842-9000. Big show. We got, I think it's like a thousand seat theater too. Are you so. calling it the mini virus show? No. Somebody said you were. No. No, that's stupid. Voss mm -hmm. wanted really? to. Was, remember, we wanted to do that little thing with me, him, and Voss. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, it's a great idea. But then they booked this show with me, Di Stefano, and Voss. <laughs> I mean, and Patrice, but Voss. I don't. I don't get it. Too. That's a lovely theater, the Count Basie. That's a three hundred bulver. <laughs> <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> he just he pays attention to how many light bulbs are in a place. But you only make judge seven. how good it is. He only makes seven a year, though. Yeah, how about the only one in the country, though? <laughs> There's other ones. Yeah, right. How many? Competition. I don't know. Is that? Was it a club with a funny number? <laughs> Two million. <laughs> he, 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 he. He's at. Well, who's your, who's your biggest uh, competition there, uh, Ted? Jeez. Well, the sun. <laughs> <laughs> The sun is owned by Jews, and I want it shut down. Holy <laughs> the Jews have the sun, and they're ruining my business. <laughs> my best friend is Larry the Cloud Maker. <laughs> We're teaming up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Larry makes clouds, and it blocks out the sun of the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm in direct. I really have a rivalry going with with Roger the Darkness Salesman. He hates me. <laughs> he sells darkness to rooms. But can I turn on a light? I guess we got it, didn't we? Yeah, yeah we got it. <laughs> well, nothing worse than over explaining a mediocre joke. <laughs> what do you think, cum eater? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to give yourself a headache. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, here's your line of the day. Here comes line of the day. Line of the day. Has it ever been hit by what? It's fucking still intact, isn't it? Yes, it was hit by it was hit by a child's party balloon in 1937, <laughs> and a dust bunny crashed into the <laughs> Poo, poo. It's too short. <clears throat> it's still too short, right? Wow, yeah. that was funny. That was very funny. Stephen S. from Bayshore, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me, gentlemen. Yes, indeed. I got Looking to see, forward to reading the... Uh, see all that uh, wonderful jimminess. <laughs> yes. Isn't it fun? Oh, that was great. He actually makes the face and everything. <laughs> well, you know, Ted... I'm uh, amazed by the amount of spittle that comes out of your mouth. That's yeah. really brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, spittle is the enemy of the light bulb, too. <laughs> it's very ironic that I'm such a, a light bulb king. Pickled horse balls.